Hey, so today I'm going to do my second part of my Christmas gift guide. So I'm just going to show you some different present ideas which you could possibly get your loved ones. So it'd be, it's going to be into um, him and her and so it's just going to be a continuation of my last video on gift guides. And I'm also using um, a little bit better camera so hopefully the quality is a lot better than what my first gift guide was in. So the first thing, a present for um, him, so it'd be for a brother, um, a boyfriend, a partner, a dad, something like that. So kind of army Swiss knife is a really good idea because I found that my brother always enjoys having these. So I went and bought him one. Then the second thing, which um, we actually, me and my brother discussed this and we ended up getting, he got me one pair and I got him a pair. And so it's a pair of running shoes just to keep fit and everything and it's always um, useful to have for sport days and everything like that at school and just for gym and everything. So that's why I, my brother bought me a pair in the pink and then my brother got the exact same ones which I bought him in a blue colour. So just a pair of running shoes. So if you're wanting to do something like this then you could probably get together with the person and just kind of figure out sizes and everything and styles and then you can go and also lots of stores have the two four deals currently going so it ends up being um, a lot cheaper than buying it as a single um, present. Then the next present is, um, this would be for a him but it would be a slightly younger him and I found this in a, um, it was kind of like a sports store so it's a paintball gun that goes on um, air, so it's kind of like an air gun type thing. And it's just kind of like a fun present. And even though my brother is 21, he still enjoys playing around like with these things and it's just kind of like a really boyish thing. So you could buy perhaps a couple of them if you have a couple um, brothers or anything so they can kind of go together and play with it. So that's always fun. Then um, clothing is sometimes, it's sometimes a safe bet but sometimes it isn't. But because I bought one very similar for my brother for his birthday but in a different colour so I'm just going to go repurchase some of these normal t-shirts just for him because I already know he likes them but I'm just going to get them in different colours. Um, and then we have for him so just different colognes and aftershaves. Shaving cream is always really helpful. My brother always runs out and so does my dad so I bought them extra and just a couple really nice um, scented soaps. So it's not the normal ones but this one is in Korea so it's kind of like a cologne in a soap which I thought is a really neat idea. So they were presents for him. Now I'll go on to her and kind of um, parents and mothers and everything. Um, this is, a and it's just a really nice little silver chained watch. Very pretty and it's by a really nice brand, Scargan. So when buying expensive presents like that, you definitely want to know that you're getting something that they would enjoy and perhaps you could go halves with a brother or a sister just to kind of bring the cost down a little bit. Just a wooden set of tongs and also a nice big salad bowl just for when we entertain. So just random things that you need around the home. So cooking utensils, plates, um, glass bowls are always and really nice things to get parents and everything. And then for a friend, what I'd recommend is I've just purchased a couple um, random things which I'm going to give out. So here is a manicure set. So it's just um, some false nails. Um, my cousin really enjoys doing them so I thought that would be a nice gift to give her. Then also just DVDs are always really fun and my friend loves to watch movies so I got Sex in the City too because she loves Sex in the City and she already has number one. That's why I bought her that one. And then um, another really cool idea is pajamas. And so my friend once got me a pair for last Christmas and I really, really enjoyed it because normally pajamas you don't really go buy yourself some really nice ones, you just kind of buy whatever. So these ones are really cute ones. Cotton on Body has two for 30 deals at the moment, I think it was. So I got the bottoms and the top for $30 together. So it's just a pair of really nice um, thin cotton, perfect for summer bottoms. And then the top is really, really cute. I tried matching the top to the bottoms. And this one is a French Parisian inspired feel top. It's just a really cute, simple print. And I think that, because I actually bought this for my brother's girlfriend, so I think that she'd definitely enjoy this present. So that was my second part of my quick holiday gift guide. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey, so today I'm going to do a holiday gift guide or wish list I guess it is for you guys because I've been asked heaps and heaps and 
heaps of questions through comments and messages, um, what I want for Christmas or if I could do a holiday gift guide to give you guys some ideas because I know it can be quite hard to pick presents and everything. So this is, uh, so this is going to be a gift guide, I guess, for her. So just different presents which you could probably ask for yourself. Or if you're buying presents for someone, then you can kind of have a look at it and see which one you might like to buy the person you're wanting to purchase it for. So it's at different price points so depending on how much you wanted to spend and everything. So hopefully I can cover it, all the bases for you today. So the first thing is, um, this is actually what I wanted and my mum got me and then I opened it. So I don't know how that works, but because I wanted to test it out because I wasn't sure whether or not this was what I wanted. So that's why, and plus seeing as I have it and I wanted to kind of start using it to look after my teeth so that's why I opened it but it's a sonic toothbrush so you can get your electric toothbrushes which my brother bought me a couple probably last year he bought me it but um it actually broke so that's why I wasn't too keen on repurchasing that same brand it was an Oral-B one well actually Oral-B and I went and bought it an Oral-B tooth <laughs> I'm losing my words, toothbrush, but, so this is a Sonic one, so this one is just a blue one, and it has a normal toothbrush head, so it's not the little circle one, and Sonic is just supposed to clean your teeth a lot more, so now I have a fascination with cleaning my teeth and making them really white, so my mum went and bought me heaps and heaps of, um, um, whitening toothpaste and everything and then also this toothbrush so it's a Sonic Complete S200 one and this one retails probably for around $50 or so um oh sorry 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 okay so um this one is the S200 they also have a model above this which is the S2350 or something like that and that retails for around 150 and it has one more function but it was like a massage function this one only has clean and soft functions which I thought would suffice me enough so I didn't really need the um the one above it but so this one oh, sorry there we go. Um, so this one was probably around $50. Um, you can get them from Harvey Norman, um, any shops like toothbrush shops, um, electronic stores, probably Kmart, Target, even Price Signs. So you could try stores like that where you can get that from. So that's just a cute idea. So a Sonic toothbrush, just to kind of, it will be a present which I guess always keeps giving. So I'm actually going to go purchase one for my mum for her Christmas present. So we're going to have the same toothbrush. And I definitely recommend that. It gives me a really nice, clean feeling just as if you've come from the dentist and that's what I was looking for so I'm really happy with that toothbrush. Then um, on to a slightly lower price point but probably around the same depending on how much you wanted to purchase. Um, because this is a beauty channel so I know most girls are interested in beauty um, because you are watching YouTube videos about beauty and everything. So makeup. So what I'd recommend is because there's so many different types of makeup and everything brands and um, different um, like matte finishes, um, gloss finishes, sparkly finishes and everything. So if you were just to purchase your makeup in a palette so that you can kind of have different variety of colors and everything. So if you don't know whether to buy an apricot blush or a pink blush or a red blush, you kind of have all the bases covered. So Coastal Sets has some really nice ones. Um, this is one of the blush palettes, which is actually one of my favorites, just because you can kind of pick and choose your blush depending on your mood that day. And then also the 88 blush palette, because there's lots of tutorials up on YouTube with how to use these blush palettes. So, I mean eyeshadow palettes so it's always really handy because you can also go and purchase your 88 color palette and then you can watch your tutorials on how to use them and I usually only use my tutorial colors from these unless sometimes I'll um, use different brands but you can always mimic the colors with that palette so that's why I like that then on to perfume and fragrances so this is DKNY Apple um, it would just be nice smelling gift type perfume that's always a really nice gift to give someone and if you don't know what type of scents they're in most people love this scent I haven't met one person who hasn't liked it so that's why I'd recommend DKNY Apple just because it's a very nice safe option and it's um, quite a nice present to give someone. I have is one of my favorite things, it might not be for everyone, but a red lipstick, because you all know I love my red lips and my bold lips at the moment. So this one is Chanel and Gabrielle, so it's a little bit more expensive one, but I think that the price does kind of match the quality of it and also the color, and it is one of my favorites, so, and it's just the number 19 one. So it's a little bit more pricier, but I mean, if you wanted to buy something special for someone, perfect gift, in my opinion. But you just have to check that they are into wearing bold lips and everything, because you don't want to purchase it and them not going to wear it. And so then this goes on to the second option, which would be fashion. So um, 
Of course you can buy dresses and everything if you know the person's size or the person's style, but a little safe option is shoes, So, but you're also going to need to know the person's shoe size and everything. But I'm loving flats and so you can, pretty much everyone loves flats. I'm not sure that, I don't think any of my friends don't wear flats, so they're just a very safe option instead of buying heels or sandals just in case not the style. Flats, these are just a really nice gold vintage toned, I mean brown toned with gold ribbon through it. So these ones were purchased from Novo. So just a really nice comfy pair of flats I'm sure most people would appreciate. So you could perhaps look into that. Um, a little bit lower price point, just in case for maybe a friend or something, false lashes. So this one is the Idel Hot Date Little Black Dress Lashes. You get your normal black um, half lashes and then you also get your um, sequined ones and I love these just because you have two in a packet. They're also the half lashes which are my favorite lashes. They're super super simple to apply. They're much easier than the full lashes so this is just kind of like a beauty cosmetics um, I guess little secret of half, half lashes which look really really flirty so I'd recommend them. And then that continues on so if you are buying for someone or you're a makeup fanatic what I'd recommend is a brush kit just because um, to do all the makeup tutorials and everything you have to kind of have a nice brush kit that you can kind of rely on and that produces really nice looks. So um, Sigma produces really nice ones you can also get MAC ones but Sigma is a lot cheaper and um, I've heard that it's about the same quality but then I've also read reviews saying that it isn't so I'm not too sure what it's comparable to. I have had a couple MAC brushes but to be honest I love my Sigma ones and I use them just because they um, are great at doing makeup. I do all my looks with them so I think that they're great. So if you want to copy my tutorials then you'll be fine with um, Sigma makeup brushes and I mean when I've watched um, different people's tutorials and they happen to use Sigma, I mean MAC makeup brushes, I use my Sigma ones and it still produces the same looks so I guess just a nice makeup brush kit and if you don't know like different stores so you can get them from, in a, people always ask me in Australia where can you get makeup brushes but to be honest like, you can go to Price and you can buy single ones but then the price actually ends up being how much it would cost for a kit online so that's why in Australia everything's a lot a lot more expensive so it's probably best buying online, you can also buy from eBay, from America, get it shipped at the currencies currently at the same rate so that's why just definitely shop around because I don't think you can get too many cheap brushes in Australia so and even if they aren't the same quality you're still going to be paying quite a lot because brushes aren't very common in Australia if you know what I mean because when you go shopping and everything they're not always out there you have to know where to look to be able to find them so but if you are looking for them I know Priceline has them I don't think Target or anything have them and then I guess makeup counters you could try but that's about the only places I could kind of recommend that you try. Then on to another one, so this is, um, so I guess probably a, either a stocking filler or like little presents to give your school friends or anything. Um, a little nail art pen because you can create really nice zebra print, prints and just little flowers so it's just a nail art pen so it's nail polish in a pen which is just really handy. You can create different nail polishes and everything. Great for tutorials so if you're into making videos or something and you're kind of run out of videos, invest in one of these and you could probably create 20 tutorials out of the one pen, just like different lace tutorials, zebra print, um, different patterns and everything. Then, um, so I, okay, then onto sunglasses, so Ray-Bans are very popular at the moment, you can get them at many, many different price points, you can go to Cotton On, um, they have them for around, I guess, $20, under $20 or something, or as you can go for the real ones, which you could buy from the different sunglass shops, which would probably retail at probably around $100, so it's just depending on your price point and whether the person is really into brands or they just kind of like the style and just want to try it out for a little bit, then you could go for something like that. Then another really popular thing that people always ask me about is hair extensions, so I know hair extensions are really popular in the beauty community and among lots and lots of girls, so you could just invest in a nice pair of hair extensions. I've done a couple reviews for a couple companies. I've done um, Hello Gorgeous and I've also reviewed Head Candy which I both love and I still have them so I might actually pop them in in a couple of my future videos so you guys can see them. So you can purchase them online or these ones are from Hairstyle City. So it's just you can get 18 inches, 20 inches depending on how long you want your hair. So it's just a really cute gift you can give someone. Or so you can also try local stores if you type into Google and stuff. You can type in hair extensions and you can probably find a place near you that sells hair extensions if you weren't wanting to order them online and you wanted to try them in before you buy. So that's totally understandable. 
And then we have my guest watch, which I'd recommend just because I'm in love with mine. So this one was from a little guest store. You can go to the guest, um, it was from a little watch store, but you can go to guest store online and you can see very similar ones. So it's just a nice big gold watch. And then also um, kind of Onyx bead bracelets are very popular at the moment. And you can get them from most stores like surf stores or even just clothing stores. They have little fake ones. So Onyx bees. And then this would be the last thing is just a nice um, kind of not really handbag but more festival clutch type thing. So it's just a quilted bag. You can get them in many different colors. So cream, baby pink, black, blue, any color you want. And then it's just a chain with a black um leather thing threaded through and it's just a really cute way to kind of carry all your things through the holidays or your school pencils probably not school books because you're not going to fit very much in but for nights out and everything for days and kind of outings and that's perfect because you don't want to be carrying too much and then also when you're wearing handbags and everything and you have a lot of stuff it will start to bring your shoulder down so just having a crossover is a lot um I guess not only healthier, but also it looks really nice. They are my quick Christmas wish list guide, gift guide. Um, just different ideas. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it did help someone in choosing what they might want or what they could perhaps get someone that they know. Um, I will try doing a couple more videos when I think of things or I pick things up for my family for Christmas. I'll make a couple extra of these videos just to show you how I do for him and for her, for mum. And I'll see what I can do for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.